Hello people, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to your girl's channel. I am so happy to see you guys and if you're new to this channel, I love you so much. Thank you for joining me today. Um, so we're gonna get creative in today's video. As you all can read in the title, I'm gonna be making a wall decoration for my living space today. So I want to show you guys how I did that in the final product. So, but yeah, so let's get right in today's video. Hey guys, so these are the materials you'll be needing for the wall art. Um, first, I got most of this material from Dollar Tree. So first, you'll be needing a foam board. This is a foam board. I got three each from Dollar Tree, and so that's all you'll be needing. And this plate is from Dollar Tree too. So it, it has like twenty in each pack. So one pack is a dollar. And this is the metallic spray. So this is a spray paint which I'll be using to spray my design and. You need the paper tape. I mean, sorry, you need the tape, and this is a measuring tape. I don't think I really, I didn't use this, but you might need it. And this is a pencil to mark your lines, and you need the scissors. You also, I got this from Walmart, so it's like a stone or something. And this is your hot glue. You need your hot glue to glue things together. And this is what I'll be using to mount the deco on the wall so the first thing um i did was joining the foam boards together with a tape and you want to make it as straight and as neat as possible and try to make sure that the edges are touching each other and so i noticed it wasn't really strong so i decided to add another tape on top of the first one to make it stronger and you can add as many as possible as you want but just make sure it's not too much so it doesn't get really high you don't want that to happen to your project so now I'll be joining the third foam board so if you can join as many as possible as you want depending on the length and the size that you want so I'll only be needing three foam boards for my project. So that's why I'm using three foam boards. And remember, if you don't have a foam board where you are, you can use a cardboard. I'm sorry, you can use a carton. If you want to use a cardboard, it's I feel like it's gonna be too soft and it won't work for your project. So you can use a cardboard, you can use a carton, or you can use a plywood. So now I'm placing the plates on the foam board. So I'm doing this without using the glue to see the pattern that I want before using the glue. So this is what I want. And I'll be placing another one on those ones. So Right, so now I'll be using the uh, glue to glue the plate to the foam board. You have to be careful when you're doing this so you don't hurt yourself because the glue is really hot. And make sure you stick it well to the foam board so it doesn't come off. And you don't have to really worry about it coming off because the glue dries really fast. So this is how you do it. This is not gonna take much of your time but just make sure you're listening to music or you have a friend around you when you're doing this to make it more fun so you don't get tired when i was doing this i was listening to music so it was fun so that happened because i didn't put enough glue you want to have enough glue on the plate to do this so I 
and make sure the glue is on the edge of the plate. So this is what you'll be doing until you get to the last stage. So you want to keep doing this until you get to the last stage. So this is how it looks, looking nice already. So now what we'll be doing next is spraying it with a spray paint to give it a really nice look. Thank you for joining me.